Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you something really cool. Uh, as you may probably know, there is the symmetry tool in the Pixel Persona of the Affinity Designer. To have it enabled you just need to select your brush, whichever you like. And then there is this check mark on the top the symmetry. Beside it you can select the number of the symmetry lines and add more slices to the pie so to say and have it work like that. And you can get some real nice images this way. But that's all in the pixel persona and uh, the affinity designer is vector tool. So how can we achieve this in the vector, right? So there's no symmetry tool for our basic pen tool, uh, neither for the pencil nor for the vector brush. This is really lacking and if Affinity guy is watching this, maybe it's time to edit, you know? Anyway, so the way you do it is through the symbol. If you don't have the symbols, uh, tab anywhere here. You can edit uh, by visiting the view menu, then studio, and you need to have a check mark near the symbols here. Let's draw a line, a straight one, oh, like this. I'm holding shift while dragging it. And now we can create a symbol out of it, out of our nice line. Now we drag this symbol here and uh, let's rotate it, uh, say we want to make a triangle, maybe even, even more. Okay, then add another one and rotate it too and add it to our triangle. Now we need these handles to go inside. So let's uh, actually do it like this, like this, okay. You gotta check that you have all the handles inside. So we were positioned right now you can do basically anything you have the triangle symmetry already let me show you just select our base curve and start by adding a line here it continues it can be curved and um, you can basically add not just a line you can add any shape like this for example and um, if you're uncomfortable with seeing all these lines you can always you know just select them and uh, turn the opacity to zero though this wouldn't work like that you have to select the individual curves and turn the opacity to zero this way you have the, your other shapes but you see what the problem is to actually edit it uh, in a symmetrical way you have to keep the symbol selected this way you can do this see right or um, you can continue adding the shapes it can be an interesting experiment right you can add gradients and whatnot um, so that's it that's the whole idea and you can make much more than a triangle you can do a square 
your symmetry can, can have many more sides to it. Uh, so far this is the only way to have symmetry in the vector persona so to say. And that's it. Well, I hope you find this information useful. Like, subscribe and see you in the next one.